guys thunder e here and yes uh a lot of you had made questions and remarks about my main gaming review on the differences between the snapdragon and the exynos version of the s21 ultra some of you said it was a short period of time um you know one would do better than the other so i said look you know what i'll take genshin impact because that's a game that can be very annoying for a long periods of time in terms of performance and we will show some benchmarks for you i'm doing about 30 minutes of gameplay for each device and recording that for you to see what we are going to get here now you'll be very surprised when we get to the benchmark sessions now the snapdragon version and the exynos versions are right here snapdragon is in black exynos is in silver uh, i've also heard of course from a few people uh, one in particular his name is on screen saying that i should try playing in uh, power save mode so I am going to show those results as well and give you the performance I'm getting from that this is purely benchmarks I have a full review which you guys should go check out but let's go in and check out the results from Genshin Impact oh before we do that uh, just to let you know the benchmark tool I'm using is called GameBench uh, it's from GameBench.net I have a link below definitely check them out they give you some really detailed results on your benchmarks you can see uh, down to CPU variance usage, the fluctuations, all that fun stuff altogether is recorded and captured for you. But without wasting any more time, let's check out Genshin Impact on all devices and I have a little extra one in there for you. Let us look at benchmarks. This is for the Exynos version of the S21 Ultra, 33 minute gameplay session, 52 frames per second, stability 88%, CPU is 20% usage, and memory is 2144. Now, how does that compare to to our initial gameplay of three minutes and 27 seconds it's actually slightly higher so 52 compared to 50 here stability is much better at 96 percent so we have that down now what about the snapdragon version at around 32 minutes so snapdragon version 51 frames per second which is lower than the close to 60 we had and stability is 97% so it's more stable CPU is 25.6% and memory usage is 1597 now compare that to what we had for the Snapdragon and Snapdragon here is at uh, 58 frames per second so you know what it's lower but again it is within that 50 to 60 range so what we can safely say here is that with 30 minutes of gameplay the snapdragon version is 51 the exynos is slightly higher slightly at 52 but how about we check low power gameplay mode so we've been told that if you put on uh, power saving on your exynos version you should get better performance and boom here we have it so power saving mode is on we get 55 frames per, frames per second 84 percent uh fps stability which is lower cpu is also 20 memory usage drops down from 2144 to 1990 which is actually pretty cool so a little bit better performance over a long period of time with with power saving mode on for genshin impact now how about the iphone here is where i saw some really interesting numbers so I updated my iPhone to 14.4 and I tried it out. So first session here is 13 minutes. I got 47 frames per second, which is way less than the 60 frames I usually get. Stability is a 45%. So I tried it again and it was 37 frames per second, 71% stability, high usage all around. So I said, you know what, let's try it one more time. Five minutes gameplay session and you can see stability is 33 is 66% fps is 33 so i restarted my uh device uh my iphone and i restarted my pc to do the benchmarks and i played for 30 minutes and as you can see here 30 minutes ios 14.4 38 frames per second 75 percent stability cpu usage is way above 145.98 uh and memory is uh 1295 so that is what i am getting right now so in general what does that all mean well i can tell you at least on the iphone side of things let's address that quickly is that i think there needs to be an update for the game to match with 14.4 probably that hasn't happened yet and which is why we're seeing such 
ridiculously bad numbers but that's what I'm getting right now I will check it later on to see if there's any changes when it comes to the Exynos version and the Snapdragon version of uh, the S21 Ultra again it performance is very similar where the Exynos does edge out a little bit more when you turn on low uh, uh, power save mode but the Snapdragon has better stability so your frame rates do not drop as much and it stays more constant at that 51 compared to the 52 or 55 depending on if you're on power save mode so in general I still think they are the same a lot of people question my main video saying that I didn't run for longer periods of time and that's what I have here so yes it does differ and it does drop from 60 frames to lower frame rate but again these are mobile devices which will also run hotter so you're looking at temperatures of around 42 to 45 degrees for playing for such long periods of time hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this and you want to see me do longer gameplay sessions let me know i'll give you my benchmarks for this so you can actually see uh, if you have any questions any comments don't forget to like share subscribe check out more videos and check out the full review head over to border work now see that full review and make up your mind for yourself